This video will take you through a short problem on capacity management of checkout lines in a grocery store. Here's the data for the problem. Worthington Hills Grocery Store has five regular checkout lines and one express line. Now based on a sampling study, management's determined that it takes 11 minutes on average for a customer to go through the regular line and four minutes for a customer to go through the express line. The store is open from nine to nine daily, that's 12 hours. There are two requirements for the problem. Requirement A asks us to determine the store's maximum capacity or customer's process per day. Requirement B asks us what the store capacity by day of the week is if the five regular checkout lanes operate according to this schedule, assuming the express lane is always open. Let's start with requirement A, where we want to calculate the maximum capacity per day. There are two lines, regular and express, so we start with the regular first. There are 12 hours in a day, the store is open from 9 to 9, times 60 minutes per hour, times 5 regular lines. This gives us a total of 3,600 regular checkout lane minutes available each day, and that translates into 327 customers per day if we divide by the 11 minute average time. Now express lane capacity. Again, there are 12 hours in a day times 60 minutes per hour, but there's only one lane. So that's a total of 720 express checkout minutes per day, or 180 customers after dividing by the four minute average express lane time. As a result, the store's maximum checkout capacity is 327 regular lane customers plus 180 express lane customers for a total of 507 customers per day. Now on to requirement B. Here's where we need to pay closer attention to how many regular lanes there are for each time slot for each day. And recall that the regular lane service rate is 11 minutes, or 5.45 customers per hour, that's 60 minutes divided by 11 minute service time. The express lane service rate is 4 minutes, or 15 customers per hour, that's 60 divided by 4. And also recall from requirement A that the express lane capacity is 180 customers per day. Now the best way to solve this problem is to put together a table with days of the week across the top and the time slots for scheduling regular lanes in the rows. Let's first start by looking at the capacity for the 9 to 12 a.m. time slot on Monday. This is a three hour time slot. So if we take the service rate of 5.45 customers per hour times three hours in a slot times one lane open, that's 16.4 customers that can be served between nine and noon. Next is the 12 to four slot. This is a four hour slot and two lanes are open. So 5.45 customers per hour times four hours times two lanes is 43.6 customers that can be served between 12 and four. If we do the same for the next two time slots of four to 6 p.m. and six to 9 p.m. respectively, we can serve up to 32.7 customers between four and six and 65.5 customers between six and nine. These are two and three hour time slots with three and four regular lanes open respectively. That's a total of 158.2 customers through the regular lane on a Monday. We add to that the 180 customers through the express lane that's always open, giving us the capacity to serve a total of 338.2 customers on Monday. Now here are the results for the rest of the week. You're encouraged to stop the video here and confirm some random calculations to ensure you understand how all the values are determined. After following the same approach for each time slot for every day of the week, we see that the store can serve approximately 2,574.6 or 2,575 customers per week. If you've ever been to a grocery store and wondered how they determine how many lanes to keep open, now you have some idea of the approach taken.